Have you ever wanted to walk along a tropical beach? Have you ever hoped to scuba dive on coral reefs? Well, the rainforest of the ocean isn't as healthy as you would expect it to be. Coral reefs are in danger, and this rich ecosystem is deteriorating quickly. Around 75% of the world's coral reefs have been damaged. Coral degradation is caused by a number of impacts related to human activities, with the most profound being climate change, which is causing mass coral bleachings, stronger cyclonic hurricanes, and ocean acidification. In some parts of the world, overfishing and plastic pollution create additional degradation. Impacts on coral reefs affect the whole marine ecosystem and those that rely on it, meaning that ecosystem degradation of coral reefs is affecting the livelihoods, culture and economies of coastal communities, which form a large portion of the Earth's population. Coral reefs are facing multiple threats. Most of these threats come from greenhouse gas emissions, such as transportation use, the burning of fossil fuels, deforestation, electricity use, and more. The first factor is increased ocean temperatures. Global warming has caused the sun's rays to get trapped in the ozone layer of the Earth. The excess rays are absorbed into the ocean, making its temperature warmer. The warm temperatures cause stress to zooxanthellae, coral reefs algae, making them be expelled from the corals, leaving them vulnerable to disease or bad algae. The second factor is changes in storm patterns. The frequency and intensity of hurricanes, cyclones and typhoons have increased due to warmer temperatures. The coral reef structure becomes broken in the turbulent waters. With insufficient time to recover from increasingly severe events, marine ecosystems are degrading with each event. The third factor is the acidification of our oceans. As the concentration of greenhouse gases increases in our atmosphere, so too does the concentration in our oceans. Carbon dioxide is released from the burning of fossil fuels to meet the needs of our industrialized economies. For example, powering industries for producing the resources, foods and goods we consume, our transportation and powering our buildings. Deforestation, fertilizer use, which after being applied releases nitrous oxide, and methane emissions are also significant contributors to rising carbon dioxide levels. As the ocean absorbs CO2, its pH level decreases. Corals are made of carbonates. Acidification of our oceans impedes corals from growing and dissolves their existing structure. The fourth factor is the use of fertilizers, pesticides and soil runoff. When the rain comes, it washes these chemicals and the topsoil from agricultural areas and urban landscapes into the ocean. The fertilizers and turbidity enhance the ability of algae to grow and block sunlight from getting to the corals that grow up from the seabed. Fertilizers and turbidity add to the stresses faced by corals and slow recovery from key degradation events. All of these factors narrow down to a fundamental factor of reducing greenhouse gas emissions. So how do we do that? Simple solutions are saving energy at home by switching to LED light bulbs and energy efficient appliances using renewable energy like solar and wind energy, reducing carbon emissions produced by transportation vehicles by walking, biking, carpooling or using public transportation, reconsidering traveling by plane since they emit a large amount of greenhouse gas emissions, buying an electric car instead of a regular gas one will pay off for you and the environment, eating less meat and not wasting food will significantly reduce the mass amount of methane produced, rotting food in a landfill produces methane too, the best solution to the protection of coral reefs is talking about it to others. The first step to solving any problem is acknowledging it exists. So talk about this to your family, your friends and your neighbours. Share this with everyone who is in your life, so one day when you go on a beach vacation, you may see the beautiful rainforest of the sea restored.